Hey y'all, it's Kayla in the yard. If you don't know me, it's Kayla in the yard. And if you do, welcome back. All right, so I had an update because I got my hair cut today, basically. This isn't how she styled it. Um, I went through a lot before I got home, so this is how it looks right now, though. I'm gonna show y'all before of how my hair looked. It was like curled, so I feel like the way that I have to style it is kind of curly, I guess. To kind of keep it my hair is layered because of the fact that you know i wear curly all the time so it's gonna be cut layered um but i'm gonna show you all the back yeah so i lost a lot of length because i got it cut but look let me tell y'all something we gonna talk about postpartum today Cause I feel like people don't talk about it enough. I'm only 23 years old. Um, my son is four months and look at my, like, I don't know. If you know me, you know, but look at my hair, look at my edges. My hair doesn't usually look like this in the front. Like I usually have a lot of hair around my edges and like just hair. And with postpartum, I lost a lot of hair around the front of my head so it was hard like genuinely and he's about to be five months but i didn't start like experiencing postpartum really until like hair loss i didn't start experiencing postpartum hair loss until i want to say he had to be like three months it was when i was three months is when it was like whoa like what's going on and my hair's like stayed like getting thick like my the lengths of my hair but the ends was like starting to get very like crumbled. It was hard for me to like really be able to fully manage it how I want to because I could tell like I need my hair cut. My edges is like leaving. Glory to God, I can say. I haven't really lost like the thickness in the body of my hair, except a little bit in the middle. But I haven't really lost too much thickness, but I definitely have lost my edges. Like that's the part that be like getting me because like if you know me, I always had the babies. Like, the babies was always ush, ush. It was never nothing to it. And when I first started my YouTube channel, my hair was brown. So I let my hair, before I got pregnant, I let my hair grow all the way out to its natural color, back to, like, this color. And it's been a while. Like, I, it's been at least, like, six, seven months since it was brown. But, you know, ooh, excuse me, y'all. But it took a little bit for that because I'm like, I don't want to redye my hair if I'm trying to get back to the natural state and then get pregnant, postpartum. Because when you're pregnant, your hair get real thick. And then postpartum, you start to lose it and it's just like a lot. So that's what I've experienced. And I feel like not enough people talk about it. Like for now or now what I've been doing is like just making sure I'm oiling my scalp, oiling my edges a lot more. Um... Let me see how my ponytail looks. Look, even a ponytail. My ponytail used to be longer than this, y'all. Okay? But at least it got by. At least it's not stiff. All right? But I've just been oiling my hair. Um, We're going to call this a postpartum check-in. All right? That's what we're going to do. Postpartum hair loss check-in. This is the first one. And it will be more to come. <laughs> but, I mean, I can't really say much because I feel like now... I'm kind of doing things to not prevent it, but still keep my hair manageable and still good throughout it. So that's why I was like, okay, I need to go for a trim. It winded up being more of a cut. And it was like, okay, like I'm okay with that because of the fact of it's needed. Like my hair needs it so bad. Um, and I know my hair grows like fast and I know different. I'm going to be doing about a bunch of DIYs with y'all. Y'all going to see on my channel starting next week. Ooh, starting next week, we doing a DIYs together. Black castor oil soap type DIYs, aloe, like different technique, rice water, stuff like that. Like just the regular things you can do at home. Um, and then just regular hair routines. When you, y'all know when I wash my hair, it's very thorough. Um, I am gonna not get braids for a while only because what I'm noticing is that when I did have braids, like I had braids at three months. Hold on, y'all.
All right. So let me close the door. If y'all see like stuff in the door, it's from my condition. But um, at like, what was I talking about? He just wanted to be looking at everything. It had to be at like three months. I have, no, a month after, um, I took my braids out at three months. Yeah, I was three months full starting my, I took my braids out. And that's kind of what I noticed like, oh, like my edges are gone. And I think it too was because of the tension on my braids because I did a wash your braids video, which you are supposed to wash the braids, but I do think that might've caused some tension on my hair. Um, just because of the, the state that it's in the process. And yo, postpartum hair loss is normal. Don't let nobody, I'm 23 and I experienced it. And I had a beautiful baby boy and he big. And look, I guess the hair that's leaving in my head is going on his. So <laughs> that's just what it is. But, and I'm also breastfeeding like full time. Well, time's full because full time's times two y'all we look mom brain but times two because i like not even pump my supply is a lot like to the point of i still feed him all day with my chest and i still have so much extra milk in the freezer and the fridge like it's ridiculous and i think that does play i looked it up a lot of people were saying that plays a role too so you know look Hair is hair, it's going to grow, and look, ugh, the little ponytail. <laughs> I've done it before, like, growing my hair, I'll do it again. I'm going to continue doing it. Um, but this time I'm going to be, I want y'all to hold me accountable and being very consistent with the videos, bringing y'all on my hair journey with me, um, and even just showing a postpartum. Like, this could be, we're going to call this a postpartum check-in. I think I said that already, but yeah, we checking in. They don't talk about postpartum enough. And a lot of people are, I was like, I, when I first started seeing my hair was like basically bald in the front. It was like, I was so scared. Like I didn't want people to see, I wasn't wearing certain hairstyles, which you're not supposed to be wearing tight like hairstyles anyway. But I was like, I don't want nobody to see. Like I was very insecure about it. And it took like a week. <laughs> people be insecure for years. It took me a week. And I was just like, you know what? Like, forget it because, look, at least my baby healthy and big and fat, okay? My hair might fall out a little bit. And, <laughs> and regardless, it's going to grow back. I already know ways to make it grow back, especially faster. I just need to get on it, <laughs> which is like, being a mom and doing that is a lot. But we're going to do that. Um, And being consistent. So that's just what it is and life is life but i'm gonna post the before and the after of just how my hair looks so lengthwise i'm well i didn't do it in a ponytail before i went to the salon but i'll show you how the ponytail now my hair is layered because y'all know i wear curly all the time so that's just how it's gonna be like this part is gonna be shorter because of the fact that when it's curly it looks it blends in very well but this is the ponytail. I'm gonna comb it, take the ponytail out, comb it, show y'all. And I recorded my hair before this, like after she um, blow dried it and straightened it, but before I got the trim. So I do wanna show y'all that. Just so you can see, like it really, people gonna say, you should just not cut your hair, did it? But like, no, it needed it. Like, <laughs> it was so crunchy, like, oh my goodness. But, yeah that's it y'all and you anybody who's watching this who is a mom even if you're not like don't be look hair loss happens if you a mom and you want to postpartum hair loss talk about it show people and also get yourself a routine and a regimen that your hair will like and that's it it's gonna happen it's life and long thick voluminous hair is in our future and look at our amazing babies like, he got the hair for me, so it's all right. All right? Say hi, Tucker Me? Okay. We're going to get him off camera. I think that was a sign. He's not. We do that. But, yeah. 
you might hear him in the back but let's do the let's do the I might gotta close the door you might hear him in the back yo he's fine he literally just wants to be picked up right now but I want to show y'all first before I want to show y'all just so I can do the quick like this is a length nail kind of get a good length out of because I feel like it's curled so it's like it won't whatever but this is the length in the front yeah we literally just getting to my neck length in the front just getting to my neck and then the other parts is just off so yeah, postpartum check-in part one is done. Y'all, let me know in the comments. Look, how is your postpartum journey going? <laughs> and I know that's like a loaded question, but genuinely, not even just uh, hair, but like mentally, physically, and emotionally. Because physically too, look y'all, I be tired. And I, I don't know. My body is just not. My body is just not what it was postpartum. So that's that. But thank you for watching. Excuse my underarms, y'all. Y'all know how it be. Please don't judge. Um, and like nine times out of ten, people are still gonna be in the comments judging. But I really do like the fact that I got my hair. Oh, popped the rubber band. How nice. Um, I'll be back. We got a silk scrunchie this time. Okay. But I really like um, the fact that I got my hair cut. And I do feel like now when i start doing like treatments and i'm going to oil my scalp tonight and stuff like that it'll be like a better base like it'll just be so much easier to do and so much like cleaner yeah so that's that like comment and subscribe i'm a little ashy thank y'all for watching and the journey is to a thousand subscribers let's start getting these videos up start watching my other videos my apartment tour i'm not in that apartment no more but i'm gonna show y'all when i'm in <laughs> and um coming up videos is a clean with me and a get to know me i do want to redo that because i'm in a different place in life a little bit um and just let me know what else y'all want to see and a hair video I'm going to record my, sorry y'all, I have to hold them off. But I'm going to record my first wash day after, you know, the cut. Hold on. Because it's going to move a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> after the cut. So I'm going to record it. Ew, is there something in my mouth? It is. From like chapstick. But from looking at it and then chapstick. Oh, I'm getting irritated. But I'm going to record, show y'all. And yeah, thank y'all for checking in, like, checking in with me. Because being a parent postpartum, a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> and look, we bald over. Not bald, but y'all know, like, oh, no, that just is going right now. But they'll be back. So, stay on the lookout. <laughs>